Hi everyone. So my name is Megan and I am one quarter of the Cables and Cotton podcast. I just thought it had been a long time since we had made a video for YouTube and I miss doing it. So here I am. I'm going to do this episode by myself and then hopefully at some point Kellyanne and the Jeffs can join me again. But it's been such a weird year and I just really felt like I wanted to get back into podcasting and connect with everyone in the making community. I hope that you're all doing well. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy year. So I'm not going to dwell too much on that because I'm sure that <laughs> everyone is used to it. So, um, well, not used to it, but I I'm sure nobody really wants to talk about COVID-19 anymore. I know that at work and downtown things have really changed. So <sighs> what can you do? I feel really fortunate to be able to turn to my craft and it's such a uh, comfort in this time. So I hope that everyone and their family is doing well. And I just wanna say thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this. So it is finally summer here in the Caribou where I am. It's pretty hot outside, but I've been kind of on a sweater making kick. Um, since our last podcast, I mostly completed this sweater right here. Don't mind the dental floss in the armpits. I haven't sewn together the armpits yet because it's been too hot. So uh, let me just hold this up here. So this is the Radari sweater uh, by uh, Vedas Johnsdetter. I'm very sorry about the name pronunciation. This has been on my to knit list for a long time. Emma of the Woolly Mammoth podcast has knit a couple of these and she was my inspiration for finally picking this pattern up and knitting it. Um, it has a rolled collar and then I've used uh, Let Lopi yarn. Um, I haven't blocked it, haven't um, found or sewed in the armpits, but I can't wait to finally wear it. So, so there's a project that I've worked on since our last podcast. So that's one finished object. Something else that I've been working on is socks. This is the summer of socks. I don't know um, about you guys, but it just seems to be mindless knitting that I've really enjoyed. I used to hate knitting socks. I could barely finish one pair. It took me, I don't know, like six years to knit Jeff a full pair of socks, but I am loving them now. And so I wanna show off these ones right here, a finished pair. I'm going to put this one down. This yarn is by Earth Yarns. This is the end of color 54. I did use this sock yarn to knit a full pair of socks earlier on in the year. And with what I had left, I was able to knit up another pair. Um, I believe it's 54 stitches on size US 1 needles, uh, just a, um, I want to say, gusset heel flap, and then just like a regular toe there. And even though uh, it comes with two separate uh, balls of yarn, I feel like these... Um, matched up pretty good. And these are going to be a gift for a, uh, 
a friend here in town. I hope that they fit her. She says she has size eight, eight and a half feet. So with negative ease, that should be good. Um, another finished object. Oh, actually what I wanted to show you is, um, so these are doubles by Burning Impressions. She is a local to me maker. She um, graciously delivered these to my work and I love them. I know that you don't need sock blockers to complete your sock projects, but I think that not just for displaying, but when you block your socks on these, they just have that really comfortable fit when you wear them and it really makes it so that the shape of your sock is perfect. I love them. So I'm gonna show another pair of socks on them. So since a couple weeks ago, I decided I'm gonna try my hand at designing a pair of socks. I've been knitting enough pairs that I thought, why not try my hand at it? There's a lot of inspiration out there. And so finally, I just thought I was going to do it. Sorry, I have a lot of dog hair on these. Um, when you have a Husky cross and a Malamute um, cross with like another big dog and it's finally, you know, hot weather, they tend to shed their coats. So, so this is my sock design. It is a knit one, pearl one ribbing. It's a shorty, of course, because I love shorties. I wear my Converse or my, um, like my clogs and they're just comfortable to wear. This has a um, different type of heel. It's not just the regular slip one, knit one. And then around this part of your foot, I've done a knit two pearl two ribbing. And then up here where your toe goes, there's another type of ribbing. And then it is a rounded toe. I kind of, let's see. Yeah, I love how it looks. I love how the decreases look. Mm, you can't really tell on here. So, I don't know, I just thought they kind of would be fun to wear in like a pair of runners, sneakers, Converse, whatever. Um, I know for some places it might not be summer-ish, but I just loved the look of these. And I was thinking, Jeff said that they kind of look like a pair of like fitness socks. So I was thinking about naming them like fit knits kicks or I don't know I'm terrible at naming things so if you have an idea let me know in the comments below this yarn is light bright by black cat custom yarn uh, they're Canadian dyer and this actually came from a rainbow mini set that I purchased from Chantelle of mud punch yarns Quite a few years ago so i don't know to me it kind of reminded me of ice cream um like the cone at the top i just wanted something fun to wear i don't know about you folks but when i wear a pair of socks that are bright and colorful it kind of i don't know it's kind of fun and this is another pair of shorties <laughs> by burning impressions this was a gift from my lovely friend, Kellyanne of My Stitching Journal. She got me a goodie bag for uh, Jeff's and my 10 year wedding anniversary. And that was so sweet of her. And I use them all the time because I love them so much. So, so now I'm gonna get into some works in progress. So, um, any designers would know that sometimes you try something out and you think the idea is good and then you try it out and you're like, mm, 
Not really. So this is kind of a, not a tale of woe, but I'd like to say that this is more of a uh, first trial. So I love that pair of shorties, but I thought I, I wanted to um, check them out. Oh my goodness, is this inside out? No, it's not. Okay. So I liked that pair of shorties, but I thought, okay, I'm going to try knitting it in a very plain yarn to see if it's the pattern that I like or if it is the yarn that I like. So I grabbed some Briggs and Little, uh, just their toughy sock, and I knit a pair, but I did some things differently. This heel is being weird. So, so same beginning. Uh, knit one pro one ribbing at the top that same heel flat that I did for the other sock and then instead of doing the knit two purl two around the middle of your foot I thought about just doing the same pattern right here and then no ribbing up at the toe but a uh, rounded toe as well um, this is an a uh, first try attempt. I found that it might have been the yarn, maybe not as much give in the uh, the yarn nylon factor, but it fits pretty tight. I knit both this one and my other one using a US zero needle. Now the reason why I did that was because I was chatting with Eden of the Dear Friend podcast, and she's been knitting her boyfriend and herself these socks. And she said that that's what she used because it creates such a nice, durable fabric. So I went to Andy's store in 100 Mile House. She owns the Impossible Knot Yarn Shop. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna try this out. And I love it, and I love the fabric, but uh, too tight on the toe and just the heel ah, just didn't work out. So I'm just putting these aside for now. I'll probably rip this out or un undo it so that I can salvage the yarn. I've written down what the pattern is and then I'm going to try again. So that's kind of exciting. Um, kind of testing the waters for designing. I have a sweater design that I've kind of put to the side for a couple years now and um, I don't know maybe one day I'll actually get it done. So another very exciting very dog hair filled work in progress that I have is the unbearable hoodie. Now this is a pattern I think it's a collaboration uh, Maxine Sear and Vincent uh, Dis this land is oh it's it's french and i'm sorry it's uh, max the knitter and designs by dallas i'm sorry for butchering your name i had a french maiden name and people butchered it all the time so i should know better um so yeah so i am doing the mini unbearable hoodie by the talented um, Max the Knitter and Designs by Dells. Beautiful. I, I couldn't say no. So I'm doing a size three, which is actually a size 16, like um, a teenager age 16, I believe. So let me show you here. I'll back up. So the hood is unfinished but it's gonna have bare ears on it. And then here is the pattern so far. So when I started this, what I did was I knit the body until the very first line of the color work. And then I put that on hold and I cast on for the left and right sleeve And then I cast on for the hood and then I started the color work. 
I wanted to get those out of the way because that way there wouldn't be any stress for after finishing the color work and then going to those. I found let's get Sleeve Island over with right away and it's just the knitting is going by so fast. It's one of those things, one of those projects where it's one more row, one more row and I find that in the morning before work I have my coffee and I knit on this and I am so enjoying it. So let's get a closer look here. So look at this bear. So adorable. Like look at this pattern here. The red is by Fiddly Dye Works. It's the Adira, Adira, Adira colorway. And it's actually pretty true to color there. And this pink is the lovely and talented Sweet Fiber um, Tea Rose. And this is her uh, Sweet Fiber's Bruin colorway. So I don't know who I'm knitting this for yet, but I'm loving it. And honestly, a part of me thinks this sweater would be okay on me, right? <laughs> but uh, it might be a gift knit. I'm unsure. It might take some convincing, but um, let me show you. So Adira and Bruin and Tea Rose. This sweater is going to be a dream to wear. So uh i love it so much okay so i don't want to have this run too long so my next um thing i want to discuss is some new acquisitions slash happy mail slash yarn hoarding <laughs> so um a couple years back when kellyanne and i were at knit city together kellyanne was not a knitter and she had purchased some yarn, purchased a pattern, and I had the needles uh, in my bag because I come prepared with every size of needle just in case the urge to knit a new project strikes me there. So I had set her up in the knitting lounge. She was knitting and I told her, hey, like, if you need help, you're surrounded by these knitters, just ask for help. So I went and I grabbed a coffee and when I came back, there was this uh, lovely Natalie, uh, this, this woman who was helping out Kellyanne because she had dropped a stitch or she purled when she was supposed to knit. And um, anyway, so we started following each other on Instagram and she's dyeing yarn now. So I went on to her Etsy store and I bought some yarn. Twist my arm. <laughs> Just kidding. So, um, so Blush Yarns and Boutique, she sent me uh, this cute uh, little stitch marker. So this colorway right here is called Unicorn Dreams. And I love it. It's so fun and cheerful and so well dyed. I can't wait. I am going to be knitting up a pair of socks in uh, this yarn. So it is 75-25, so wool and nylon, and 400 meters, 100 grams. So that was one skein. And then I can't say no to a pack of minis. So I also ordered these. Look at how beautiful these uh, pastels are. This one has speckles in it. Um, just beautiful. And uh, this one, I don't think you can see them yet, but there's some speckling in this one as well. Just really cheerful. These um, mini skeins are 10 grams. So um, 
it would make like such a soft pair of like sprocket socks by Pip and Pin or um, Cozy Up Knits. Oh, what's that? They have that pattern of theirs and you can either knit like mitts, a hat or a cowl with it, but I can't remember what it's called. Uh, it would just make such a beautiful set of fingerless mitts or something like that. And then she also sent this gorgeous blue. I love that. And I believe she said this one was called Sea Breeze. So I'm just dying to wind those up and use them, but I do have some projects that I need to complete. I really want to get the unbearable, uh, the mini unbearable hoodie finished before family comes up to visit. Um, and then we're going to go camping and it should be really nice. Hopefully the weather holds out. So before I go, I just want to share some of my favorite things that I've been collecting lately. Uh, I have all of a sudden had such a desire to buy <laughs> nail polish. <laughs> so I've been going to Shoppers Drug Mart and I've been purchasing Essie nail polish. So this one actually was a gift from my family for our 10 year wedding anniversary. This one is called Ooh. Bikini So Teeny, such a beautiful blue. And then I went out and I bought myself this one, Mint Candy Apple, right there. And then Jeff helped me pick out this one. It's like a soft lavender. It's called Go Ginza. And then yesterday I picked out this one. And it's called Mrs. Always Right. <laughs> it's not a hint, but I just love the color. So yeah, I don't know. I just have been doing some self-care at home. And for me, that looks like, you know, painting my fingernails or toenails. It's you know, sandal season or, you know, flip-flop season. And I just like to go to the beach and I don't know, it's kind of something fun. So so anyways, I'm going to end this episode there. I hope that you enjoyed a quarter of the Cables and Cotton podcast. And I really hope that you're all doing well. And I really appreciate you spending your time coming here and watching me talk about my projects and watching me just show you some yarn that I love and, and the designs that I'm working on. So until next time. I hope you all uh, are able to spend some of your time creating something that you love and spending time with the people who love you or <laughs> the people that care about you a lot. And yeah, anyways, have a great day, you guys. Bye.